The world is standing up against the Chinese Communist Party. And now, China's worst fears are coming true. Its exports are falling drastically. Around two weeks ago, China held an annual meeting of the lower and upper house of the rubber stamp parliamentary body. The week-long meeting, popularly known as two sessions, is held once a year, unlike the parliament of other democracies where legislators meet regularly. And the annual budget is presented during this meet. The economic growth target set in the budget is the most significant feature of these sessions, as the Chinese government as well as the Chinese people take the GDP growth target very seriously. Every year, the Chinese Communist government is under pressure to accomplish the economic growth target as it signifies the Communist government's efficiency. But in the first quarter of 2020, China's GDP contracted by 6.8% in comparison to the first quarter last year. This was the first time China entered negative growth after 1976. Therefore, in the sessions held two weeks ago, the government did not set the target for annual GDP growth, a first in many decades. This was because the Chinese Communist Party feared that growth rate would be most likely in the negative territory and any optimistic target would result in an embarrassment for the party in case the government couldn't accomplish it. The Chinese economy is an export-oriented economy which means that its growth largely depends on its exports for growth and is not insulated to a fall in exports. Hence, it is the aim of the CCP to protect its exports at all costs. But as the data for the exports in the month of May were released, the Chinese government's worst fear came true with contraction in exports and imports falling to their lowest in six years. Imports declined by 16.7% on the worsening domestic demand, but the major problem for the Communist Party is the 3.3% decline in exports. The contraction in imports for two consecutive months would actually help the country to increase its foreign exchange reserves, which already amount to around $3.1 trillion. But what the Communist government fears most is the decline in exports as it shakes the fundamentals of China's economic model. China built its economy in the last four decades with a focus on one single factor, exports. With the help of exports, it became the second largest economy in the world and gave employment to millions of citizens. Today, China exports goods and services worth more than $2.2 trillion or 20% of its GDP. It is the largest exporter in the world ahead of even the United States the largest economy in the world by $600 billion. The country built foreign exchange reserves worth $3.1 trillion, more than the GDP of India in 2019, thanks to its export prowess. In the last four decades, China established itself as the factory of the world, providing cheap labor to Western countries for contract manufacturing. The entire growth story of China was built around cheap manufacturing and exports. But with the protectionist governments in power in countries around the world, the free movement of goods started deaccelerating, and China's status as the factory of the world is under strain. The outbreak of coronavirus which originated from China made the countries realize that doing business with a country like China with the glaringly opaque system is dangerous to humanity. Above all, the most powerful countries have now come together under the leadership of Donald Trump with a single aim, the restructuring of the global supply chain and weakening of China. In the last few months, countries around the world increased tariff on Chinese goods and are incentivizing their companies to shut down manufacturing units in China. Most of these companies are shifting to South Asian and Southeast Asian countries which have labor cheaper than China and a huge market to cater to. The shift of companies would result in a decline in exports and millions of jobless people in China. If the southward movement of exports goes on for a few years, it would create a huge risk for the macroeconomy as well as the political stability of the country. The authority of the Communist Party is derived from its ability to deliver economic growth and prosperity to a large number of people in a short span of time. Therefore, once the economic growth slows down with a fall in exports, Unrest and democratic movements will pick pace and threaten the authoritarian communist regime. 
it is here that China's worst fears are coming true and the signs are already visible.